Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please ensure to like, share, and subscribe. And also click the bell notification in the top right hand corner to be made aware anytime I upload tutorials or videos to YouTube. Alright, let's craft together. Alright guys, I am here today to walk you through um, me trying to design on a um, luggage cover, small luggage cover, for the first time. So the image that I'm going to be using is this image. It says classified, booked, and busy that I created in mid-journey on the Discord server. And when it was printing out, I got a little bit of black ink right here. I'm not going to stress out about it because it's mine. It's going to be towards the bottom and nobody probably will see it. But anyway, anywho, I printed this out in Microsoft PowerPoint. I could have printed it out in Cricut Design Space, but then, you know, Cricut's going to put the registration mark. So it's an 11 by 15. I did it in, um, <clears throat> I printed it out in Microsoft PowerPoint. And so you can see I didn't come all the way down to the bottom um, because I want, I, I measured my, that's the first thing you want to make sure you kind of measure where you want your image on your luggage cover. And I took a blue pen, I don't have it with me, but it's a blue marker that looks like this, but it's my sewing mark marker so that when I make um, lines and stuff like that on my material, when I wash it, it comes right out. So it's a washable marker. So I took my blue marker and I put the cover on my small luggage and then I marked where I want my image to go. So that's why I made this an 11 by 15 in size, okay? So the cover is white. So this is not going to cover the entire um, luggage cover, but it will get the majority of the front, okay? So that's by booked and busy. I'm gonna sublimate this at 400 for 60 seconds, okay? So. Um, anytime you're doing sublimation, you want to make sure you mirror your image. So my, my image is mirrored. Um, it may not look mirrored on this video to you guys, but it is mirrored. Um, and yeah, I think she's cute. Um, I actually specified an age in, uh, on the Discord server so that she could be more my age, okay? All right, so I didn't want some little young cutie booty on my luggage cover showing me out. And then I go pick up my luggage case and, and people looking for that cutie booty and then I show up. <laughs> let me don't think, let me think I stole somebody's luggage. <laughs> so age appropriate. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to go over to the heat press and I am going to press this. And then I'm going to put it on my luggage cover. Don't mind the sun all in my face. Got to close my blinds. But um, and then I'm going to put this on my luggage cover. And we're going to see how it looks. So, all right. Meet you at the heat press. All right, guys. Here we are at the heat press. I have a piece of cardboard underneath here. Um, and so anytime you're doing sublimation, you want to make sure that you lint roll your material t-shirt garment whatever you're going to be sublimating on because you want to make sure that you get off any dust particles hair you know pet hair anything like that because it will show up in the finished project once you lint roll that you want to make sure that you heat press it for about five seconds just to get out any moisture so i'm going to heat press it for about five seconds picked up my garment all right so there is um i don't know if you guys can see it but i have the little blue marks on here 
and again this is just to give me um an idea of about where i want my garment to be or my not garment my image to be so um i'm trying to tuck away any of the elastic areas or rubber areas as best i can so that i don't have them caught underneath my heat press now my image my image is going to be um going it i thought my thing had stopped my image is going to be going um opposite of the way you can see it but that is because i have my cover down here at the bottom at the end of my the opening of my cover at the bottom here okay so this is the area that'll snap underneath the luggage so i'm gonna go ahead and i am going to get some heat tape here to hold this in place so that we don't end up with any ghosting or anything and um, I'm heat pressing this at 400 degrees I don't know if I said that 400 degrees for 60 seconds and I'm going to use a piece of butcher paper on top here to protect my platen. So give me one second. I'm gonna use the parch parchment paper instead. My heat press is still heating up. Have it's at 173 um, Celsius. So I'm gonna give it a minute to catch up, and then we'll go ahead and press. All right, guys, our heat press is ready. We're gonna go ahead and press this for 60 seconds. When I get about five seconds out, I will come back. All right, guys, five, four, three, two, and one. Alrighty. I'm gonna try to take a little note see and see what we got before I completely take it off. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That looks good. turn my heat press off all right so I am going to put this on my luggage and then I'm going to show you guys what it looked like on there so give me a second All right, guys, so you got a chance to see the finished project. Um, I am going to go ahead and do the back, and I'm going to make the back the same size. So if you try this project, just do what I showed you to do on the front side. Just do it. I'm just going to reprint that image out and then heat press it on the back side. And I've already marked the back side. Um, this is my little blue marker that I was talking about, guys. It is a washable fabric pen. I don't know if you guys can see that writing, but it is washable. So anytime I need to mark on fabric, I can mark on the fabric. And then when I wash it, it washes out. So I don't have to worry about um, messing up the fabric that I'm marking on. So I highly recommend you get one of these because it will help when you're trying to measure something and you, know, you want to get it exactly right. 
on a dress or whatever, not talking about t-shirts because we pretty much have that down. But if you want to place it somewhere else on a garment, then get you a washable marker. Um, and this is a Cricut, Cricut pen. So for those of you that want to know, it is a Cricut pen. All right. All right, guys. So you saw how quick it was. It's just a matter of getting the image of choice. Um, again, that image is on 11 by 17, but I made it 11 by 15, the image. The image is 11 by 15. So if your printer only prints up to 11 by 17, it's perfect for this project. This is a small um, carry-on that fits, fits in the overhead. That's the size that this is. It's the small. Um, and what else? Image of choice. Your luggage, of course. Um, the Etsy seller, I will put them in the description but they apparently are sold out i tried finding finding this on amazon and i wasn't able to find it on amazon so that's why i reverted to um etsy but i'm pretty sure there's other etsy sellers it's a luggage luggage sublimation cover or a sublimation luggage cover i don't know if i said the same thing but you know what i mean <laughs> Okay, so um, image of choice, luggage cover, luggage, and heat press. Um, I'm pretty sure it will work for easy press uh, as well, guys. You just have to, um, if you've been sublimating with it, I'm pretty sure it'll work. I don't have an easy press. I don't have an iPad. Uh, so, guys, I can't show you something I don't have and I'm not going to invest in. Um, so, yeah. Um, but I think that um, if there's anything I can help you with that I do have, then we got that covered. But I don't have an iPad, so I can't show you on an iPad how to do this. Um, and what else? Um, if you if you print in from Cricut Design Space because they can go up to 11 by 17. Now, just keep in mind, Cricut's going to put that registration mark. So you're going to lose part of your image. Okay. Um, and what else? Not part of your image, but you're going to have to, you're only going to be able to do, um, you have to decrease your size um, a little bit. And what else? I think that's it. I think that's it. Image of choice. I sublimated 60, 60 seconds at 400. That's what I did. And it worked perfectly. I put a little piece of uh, parchment paper on top. You can also use butcher paper. Um, and yeah, that's it. It's real easy to do. Um, if I find them on Amazon, by the time I post this video tutorial, then I will link it in the description. But I'm probably not going to find it yet because I've already searched before I purchased from Etsy. All right. All right, guys, that's my storm sticking to it. And <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, if you have any comments about this project, then chime in, in the comments because I do like to communicate with you guys. And you guys, if you, <coughs> oh boy, drink some water right before this. And I think it's in there. Um, but if you're currently in my Facebook group, Kendora's the Cricket and Creative Crafters, I want to thank you guys so much for the love and support that you show via Facebook. If you'd like to join my Facebook group, it will be linked in the description. Just click on the link, Kendora's is Cricket and Creative Crafters, and agree to the Facebook group rules and we'll get you in. If you are currently um, subscribed to my YouTube channel, I want to thank you guys so much for the love and support that you show via YouTube. And if you like my method of teaching and you're seeing me for the first time, then please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. I have over 400 video tutorials on my YouTube channel, all types of crafting. This was my first time doing the luggage cover, and I absolutely love it. All right. All right, guys, that's my storm seeking to it. And you guys know my motto is each one reach one so that each one can teach one. And you guys have a good day. Bye.